So now we're going to take a look at an application of some right triangle trigonometry. And this is a really neat problem because it really is a real world uh, example, something you might see out in the real world. So it says the conservation officer needs to know the width of a river in order to set instruments correctly for a study of pollutants in the river. So from point A, here's point A, all right, the conservation officer walks 100 feet. All right, downstream, and sites point B. So here's point B. On the opposite bank to determine that theta, this angle right here, is 30 degrees. So the question is, how wide is the river? So perhaps it's really deep, and it's not very practical for them to maybe run a measuring tape across. And maybe it's actually really wide. So we can use uh, right triangle trigonometry here uh, in order to perform this calculation and solve for the width of the river. And it's really neat. So let's take a look. We know that from A to C it's 100 feet because that's how far she's walked down. Okay, so 100 feet across this way from A to C, we want to find AB. So this segment here is unknown. And let's just call it X, our favorite letter in math, right? So it's X and we're going to solve for it. Well, we know this is theta, and let's follow our steps from our right triangle foldable, locate our right angle, we've done that, it's right here, locate theta, we've done that, it's right here. Now we're going to move on to step number three and label our triangle sides. So let's see here. If this is theta, this is opposite, this right here is the adjacent, and this right here is the hypotenuse. So let's see, we're looking for the opposite side and we know the adjacent side. Okay, opposite adjacent, opposite adjacent, soga toa. Well, toa, the tangent, I'm going to have to use the tangent of theta. So let's write that down here. The tangent of theta equals the opposite over the adjacent. Well, theta in this case happens to be 30 degrees. So what I'm going to say is that the tangent of 30 and degrees there, the tangent of 30 degrees equals the opposite, in this case, x, over the adjacent, which happens to be 100. Okay, really simple equation that I can solve. And so what I do in this case is I will multiply both sides by 100 so that I get rid of the 100, line it out there, cross it out in the denominator, and I have x equal to 100 tangent of 30 degrees. Okay, now this calculation is, is really quite simple next. So we'll, all we're going to do, we go into our calculator. Now be sure that your calculator is set in uh, degree mode and not radians for this calculation. So we just type in simply 100 tangent of 30 now we're going to round it, I suppose, to the nearest foot. We may get a decimal answer. Let's go ahead and see what we get. So we get about 57.74, uh, rounded off to the nearest foot, uh, 58 feet. So how wide is the river then? Well, x equals 58 feet. So our answer to this question is that the river is approximately 58 feet wide. So hopefully uh, another example that's simple to understand, um, and you'll see plenty of examples of, of right triangle trigonometry. Uh, we, can, we see a lot of this in the real world, so it's really neat how we can use some trig functions uh, to solve for some unknown quantities. So best of luck.